Hey guys, this is um, the female factory, um, not the living quarters, that's um, in a separate building. There's, there's only about three buildings now available to look at. Um, the living quarters has organised tours. This one here has just been left to be vandalised, which is a real shame because this is where the real history is. This is where the women worked were forced to work they didn't have a choice it wasn't like how much an hour am i getting so totally vandalized um this seems to be a theme through this building i don't know why but it is Quite trash. Missy! Hang on, I've got to make sure I get followed by Missy. Missy! Come on, girl. Come on. Can't leave any dogs behind. Look at these carpet squares. They're like brand new. Big stack of them. On a trolley, you can wheel it out. <laughs> but yeah, a lot, a lot of the good stuff's already been stolen. The rest of the stuff's been trashed and abandoned. Um, these things here would have been the modern equivalent to the laundry trolleys so these were picked up by electric forklift I'd say one of the workshops through here it's amazing all the stuff that's left behind you can see someone's been working on this model vacuum cleaner <laughs> the two of them pulled apart and probably both stuffed there's another one different model and we've got all these things off fire extinguishers it says the makers of the dead move very fast tail of the seahorse or tail of a seahorse don't get that come on dogs Nothing in here. There's an old computer. Oh. Very much feels like a factory, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, we've got safe work practices, manual handling and stuff. So this was used into modern times. Um obviously with paid staff I'm guessing um, but even if um, even if prisoners were doing so so here's some yarn <laughs> oh, bunch of it and um, so yeah they do all sorts of things there's spinning machines here and all these chairs amazing building but yeah it's um so I can guess all sorts of scenarios let's say all these women are in here working hard and um, then it's time for lunch okay we get them their food and we sit them down in this area here lock the door and then we can go off for lunch ourselves. <laughs> That's just a theory. I might be wrong. But yeah, I don't know why this... I mean, if they wanted to get out, they could just climb up over the bars. There's like a half a metre or two foot gap. So maybe this wasn't kept... Uh, maybe this, this bar work isn't here for prisoners. And actually, it doesn't look old enough. It's modern. It's square tube steel. It's not round steel. So, that's the way I got in yesterday. Have I been in this one? Nope. Oh, it's got carpet. And quality underlay. Yeah, 
Yeah, so much in the way of all this glass all over the floor here. Someone's had a, a real fun time smashing those four giant panes of glass. Why? Why? Sorry there, accidentally hit the button. Oh, they're wall panels, I think. Particle board wall panels. Chewbacca! Oh, there you are. You there? Even something like this trolley would be worth a couple hundred bucks. So, I think I've missed part of it. Maybe it's around the other side. Yeah, it's sort of a... I'm, I'm not big on spiritual stuff and ghosts and all that. Um, but you can kind of feel the um, oppressive and depressive vibe that sort of has lingered on. Yeah, it's probably in my head, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's got this rich history. Oh my. So up there there's a water tank. And a towel. <laughs> Have a look at that. Maybe someone's gone up there for a swim in the water tank when it was really hot. And they left their towel behind. <coughs> Not even sure if you can get into it. Why would there be a towel up there? Look at this. Crazy. Love it. Unless the vandals haven't got up there and smashed all that glass, eh? But yeah, there's wire on the inside anyway. In case anyone thought of climbing up to try and escape. Good advice, guys. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. So yeah, you can see by these cages on wheels that, um, well, these look like mail sorting trays. Straight out of a post office sorting centre. So this stuff could be post related and this building could have been repurposed for Australia Post for a time. I don't know what this tiny little dingy room's for, but probably a storeroom or an office at one stage. Someone's poured like a whole thing of epoxy all over the floor there. So, yeah, I'm really surprised that um, the place hasn't been um, stripped of its actual valuables, the, um, all the copper wiring and stuff. Maybe it's too hard for them to get to, maybe it's in there. I'm not sure what these are. ODRI survival kit mark one eating tray plastic glass or bowl plastic bucket a spoon tropical blanket rope someone's taken the rope um, one meter by seven meter plastic bag <laughs> And, and luckily they've screwed that one on which, make, which now makes it useless for anyone to pinch and hard to pinch because yeah, you need a screwdriver and then you're going to have holes through it where you need to rip it off either way it's wrecked emergency clothing maybe sleepover suit cotton bag bailing twine tarp that's a 10 meter by 1 meter tile. Q amenity kit. I'm not sure what that is. Two glow strips. Both those things have been pinched. Hole in the floor. I'm glad the dogs haven't gone into that. 
So if you're in abandoned buildings like this guys, this isn't a hard thing to do. See how bloody, get away. See how dangerous this is. We just spend a minute. I'm doing this with one hand holding my phone. Here we go. Now it's a trip hazard instead of a break your leg incident because if you weren't looking where you're going and your leg went down that hole oh, I don't know why people felt the need to rip that up <laughs> just to make the place that a little bit more dangerous anyway um, this part I don't think we've been in yet have we no, this is the out part. <laughs> There's another room in there. Oh, hang on. There's more. All right. This is the part I didn't see yesterday. So, over here. Definitely been repurposed for Australia Post. I could walk through there, but I can't be bothered. You can see it all from the door. Come on kids, we haven't been up here. You see there someone's grabbed some wire. I wonder if they've stripped it. Yep, that's been stripped. So here, guys, right. this is what people do to make a bit of cash. They rip this sort of wire out of buildings. And I don't know how they do that, but they somehow get the wire out. There's a, there's a slice down there so maybe they pulled it all out of that I don't know yeah so they strip the copper out of the wire and sell it to, to metal recyclers per kilo wow so these are toilets kitchen more toilets so yeah there's a lot of um, Australia Post stuff here Can you guys jump over this little gap? Jump! Good girl! Come on! Good boy! Don't know why I made you do that. Too dark to see anyway. Now let's see if we can put the flash on for you. How dingy is that in there? That's like so dark. Not going in there guys. So I'm scared of the dark. No, I don't want the dogs following me in there. It's, and I'm pretty sure that's asbestos all over there in the left corner. There. So. So this is um another one barred off, but only barred off for theft, for theft, not for prisoners. You can tell the difference because see this wire above. It's easily broken through if you're a prisoner. Also if you're a thief, but um, yeah, usually they put a bit more work into keeping prisoners secure than they do to um, keep thieves out. But yeah, I love how these old archways, you know, that, that was never, that was never an actual never in use that, this here looks like a big door but it was never ever a full door it's always been bricked up at the top part and these bricks here have been back broken through it's interesting to see the cheat work that we've done so that <laughs> over the top of the brick to make it look like it's a stone wall 
very clever to put those lines in the render because <laughs> it does give it that look, doesn't it? If you, you weren't onto it, you'd be fooled by it. But here, in comparison to that, is a stone wall with render over it. How weird is that? And more lines cut into it. Or is it, is it just a stone? I don't know. So yeah. If you've watched um, abandoned um, explore, urban explorers and people that do those tours of abandoned buildings, I'm not one of them, so you're not going to get the same quality of talking shit. You get a lot more talking shit, actually. Well, I'm going to do a, a walk around the outside of the place now. And my friends would be here soon because I called them and told them they should come here. We've already been through here, haven't we? A bunch of mower parts. Yeah, I don't care what the arrows and the eyes are all about. And who knows when the place was all cleaned up at one stage. Would have been a great sort of building to come in and do airsoft or something like that. Hide and seek. But yeah, it's a bit too dangerous to be playing in now. <coughs> and this is what they do, the lock to get in. Snap, and we're in. Bolt cutters, bang. Two seconds, you're in. Which simply means that they should have better locks than that. That can't be chewed through with a simple pair of bolt cutters in a hurry. Um, something like this sucker here is a bit more solid. Have a look at this. So that is a more decent lock. That won't be chewed through with a pair of bolt cutters in a hurry. You still can, but it's a lot harder because it's, it's a thicker bit of steel. It's like 50%, at least 50% thicker than the one that we saw cut. So now I do a walk around the outside. That's where we went in. Come around to the other side. Now, there's a path that leads around here pay attention that I'm walking on and it seems to go to the back here you could only imagine that um, once upon a time they were all marched along this road um, well they probably came down that road which goes around there through those goats and off towards the actual um, accommodation section of the, um, the women's factory so the women's factory also housed it, you know part of it was like a girl's home um, yeah quite interesting the history behind it Yeah, really disappointed to see it so trashed. What I'd love to see is some historical society come through there, do it up, you know, complete with something like mannequins sitting at a bloody spinning machine, and you know what I mean, how they do that sort of stuff where they make it look like it was when it was in use, with all the architecture and all the bits and pieces, and all the decorative stuff. But often when they do that, they go a bit silly and they don't keep it quite right. So you'll have things that are correct period-wise, but shouldn't belong in a women's prison, and they'll put it in the women's prison. <laughs> um, so, more than likely um, some sort of furnace there. Um, water tower. So I think when we were inside and we looked up at that water tower, where the tail was, 
Let me just see the top edge of it there. I'm guessing, I don't know if it's the same one or not. <laughs> Might be another water tower. That's the way we went in yesterday, just ducked under that. There, someone's brush busted that out, busted the thing off the bloody rails. Hey, come here, Missy. It's a fox. Missy! Missy! Bloody hell, I hope I caught that on camera. That was a fox. I crapped myself for a second there. Missy! She's chasing it. Oi! Becky! What the hell, Missy? What are you doing? You don't chase foxes. You don't chase foxes. What were you doing chasing a fox? Did you like that fox? It was pretty cute, wasn't it? I freaked for a second now. I thought it was thinking about attacking. I think we just scared it out of its den. Walking past it then. So I was walking along this road and the gravel under underfoot would have been noisy and I'm talking and stuff. And it just sort of darted out of here somewhere. Just in there, I think. There. Could be a den spot. Might be a den in there somewhere. It's quite thick. Can't see all of it. So there is likely to be something. Even just somewhere where they rest. Wow. I can't wait to um, check that footage out. <laughs> and see ah. that was cool and trippy and unexpected <laughs> oh yeah wild fox just running through the bush eh? didn't know that healthy looking thing it was Yeah, and talk about cunning. Um, they're definitely up there with some of the more cunning animals. That looks like part of a um, weir. It goes into the Parramatta River. All right, so this is the only side. Well, that's back around the main side where we went into the building. Not, not here, around there. So, just up there a bit, that's where we went in. Don't think I accessed that yard there, did I? Uh, Oh, and that is a different tower, that water tower up there. Yep, definitely different because the other one was internal. So it's, it's an external tower, water tower. Um, yeah, interesting. I wonder how I missed that part while well, I was inside. Wow, the gum tree threatening the roof and the lean on it. We could go over, bus depot over there. And yeah, that was the working part of the Parramatta Women's Factory. Former convict, um, uh, work facility, I guess. And now, it's, it's the oldest one in Australia, definitely. Before the Tasmanian ones, before anything here yeah, in Sydney. Um, 
So yeah, they came out here to the western suburbs of Sydney and built the first one. I'm guessing there would have been something right in the heart of Sydney before that, while this was getting built, where they would have probably had male and female, not in together, but a little bit separated. Now I've got to try and find my mates. So, yeah, women's factory. The factory part of it that they worked in, right there, the accommodation is right over behind it. Or off to the left a little bit out that way and uh, we'll might be able to get a video of that later I'm not sure if I'm heading back that way as I leave here and yeah it sits right beside and on the grounds of the old historical Parramatta jail so that that door at the bottom there is like a a um, express route to for the guards to get out I guess I don't know I was pretty sure that they all had to leave the security checks through the through the one entrance anyway it's enough filming here I'm going over stuff I've already looked at hope you enjoyed it guys please like follow, comment, dribble shoot, like I do, subscribe would be great, share this amongst your friends, do it for the ducks, and for Missy, and Chewbacca, and yeah, see you soon, bye.